Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. I have a flip through here today of a desk set and I actually did an entire tutorial series on making this desk set uh, from beginning to end, but not this particular one, one with um, some Stamperia papers. Uh, so um, if you're interested in that, um, I will link the first of the tutorial series underneath. This one is going to be in my Etsy shop uh probably today is saturday the what is it the 24th hold on yeah saturday the 24th um i will try to maybe get it in there this afternoon um if not sunday afternoon okay so this is a shabby chic style it's absolutely gorgeous um these are loaded up pockets, and I'm just going to, and it has a matching journal, so I'm gonna pull the matching journal out first, and I'm gonna show you that, and I'll do a flip through of this after, and you can see it has um, lots of dangles off the sides, and lots of fabrics, and lace, and ribbons, and it's a simple uh, two signature, journal that tucks right in that top pocket. So I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to show you what I have tucked in these and how these untie and this opens for more um, storage space. So this would be great uh, just being on your desk uh, uh, just to store whatever you want or actually just keeping your journal in the big pocket and uh or putting notes and ephemera and whatever you know receipts pictures okay so i have just a cute little um thread holder here and there's a button a ball pin and this is cute to dangle off one of your tags or um tuck in a pocket in the journal uh, I used um, if, uh, some digi kits. I used some Stamperia paper and then some a digi kit from um, uh, Lorna. Oh, 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 oh. Tailor made journals. Okay, and I will link that below. And I've used this kit before. It's a gorgeous kit. So uh, here is a uh, folder flip here. So there's a lot of room to journal in here and it's so pretty she used tiffany and company so that's in here we've got this pretty uh, mason jar here that i did do some glossy accents on and i printed on uh, on the other side where you could uh, write on that um as you can see it's well embellished here uh i've got some collaging here a little cheesecloth a little doily and fun items some beautiful lace here and some trims and some more collaging over here and um, I've lined the inside of all the pockets as well as the outside so and with that let me go into the middle pocket and this simply I've got this tied up with some um, seam binding and uh, you can make a bow out of these. You can even leave them out if you don't want them. So this basically just pops right open like this. So it's kind of like a hinge here with this um, beautiful, um, dusty, mauve uh, sorry, rather, sorry. Did I say seam binding? Sorry. We have some trim here, lace. And then in these pockets, I have a couple library cards um, that you can write on. Uh, also, this beautiful tag, large journaling tag here with some trims and some brads and this pretty little Tiffany & Company label here. And then here's the back for a lot of writing room. Um, I have this beautiful folder, but I've made it into a um, some, this is a coffee dyed paper. Here's the back. I've got a little seam, a little I'm um, sorry here. And this basically just unties. And then this just flips out and out and out and out. And let me see if I can untie this. I didn't really mean to put it in a knot, but 
Okay, let's untie this so you can see. And this says faded rose. So <clears throat> this basically just, how did I do this? Whoops, that's not supposed to be glued there. I got it. Okay, this just <clears throat> accordions all the way out like this. So you have both sides for writing. So just a fun little element. And then this ties up and you have, you know, all of your little notes in there, secret little journaling spot. Um, also, you can write on here. So I felt that, I thought that was fun. So that's tucked in there. Got this beautiful graphics of this lovely woman holding a rose. And then a room to write there. And then this tag. And I've got a, an enameled rose on the front of that. So that's in this pocket. And there's a lot of room in there. Now the way this works is this is expandable. Uh, with these this beautiful trim here and it wraps around to the back and I've just embellished it with two buttons here so there's quite a bit of room in here and it is if you can see it is printed on both sides so the paper I did do a little of um, lace and uh, collage here and then this it's got some fabric behind it and this beautiful image here and I've got this uh, large key here on a ball pin it can be removed and then there's an eyelet now when you flip this over um, I have some beautiful collaging here and this pretty image as a focal piece and you can see the that trim coming around the sides uh, in this big pocket which is really a roomy pocket I have two large uh, tags here you can write on that one and then, of course, this it has a little disc here out of a key ring and a beautiful pearl um, brad, some sorry trim down the side. And then you can see a lot of room to write back there. So that's in there. Let me move these all aside because I will tell. Oh, uh, I've got this. This was in the front pockets, these three, and I, I missed that. This has some lace and some crocheted trim here. And then this pretty uh, piece. And then this beautiful little, um, you can see I did a little uh, stamp period paper on the back. This pretty little uh, piece of ephemera here. And then, of course, I showed you that. Uh, so that's what's in, oh, in this pocket, I've, I simply have a pretty die-cut rose that you can, you know, put in one of your, you know, glue it in your book or just write on it or whatever you want. I've got this pretty tag here and then this rose here. Okay, now I'm going to show you the journal. So let me put this large folder away. Pull the journal over. Uh, I have some beautiful um, fabric trim down here. It's like an, I, I don't know what you call that. Maybe an eyelet, I'm not quite sure. Uh, then I have uh, some white uh, trim here, um, and then you can see the collage here, and it says dream. So I just felt, I thought the, this set was dreamy. So here's the back of the journal, two signatures. Uh, I have it tied up with some seam binding. Okay, now uh, there is a pocket here and then there's a pocket here on both the front and the back for more storage room. Okay, uh, I just have a little um, little tag here uh, on, a, on a bulb pen. You can remove that. I've got this uh, large journaling uh, tag here and another one of my uh, embellished key I'm not quite sure what you call those. And then some lace and an antique style eyelet here. And this is such a pretty paper here. And uh, so that's, this is a fabric pocket and it extends all the way to the back cover. And you can see I have some more trim here, lace trim. And uh, this pretty, there's the back, room to write in this beautiful antique, uh, vintage, and well, antique style um journaling card. Uh, I have a large uh, paper clip here and in it I put another one of these fun um, thread, oh, what do you call these things? It's just, 
thread holders. I'm just going to call it thread holders. <laughs> I don't know. And a button and then a ball pin and then a piece of a French document here. And this has been printed on linen paper. So it looks quite authentic. And that's for extra writing room. And then we have a diagonal pocket here. And then this beautiful card here. And that was all part of that uh, kit from um, TaylorMade Journals. So, okay, uh, over here, oh, this is, yeah, this, this right here is one of my embellished clips. And I did accent the um, flowers and the heel of the shoe with uh, glossy accents. You see there's a little doily in this beautiful... Uh, fabric ribbon that I made and here's the back okay uh, you'll see off the edges of these I've got a lot of fabric uh, ruffles that I made I did do some stenciling and this is coffee dyed paper here is a metal button uh, trim we've got some stenciling here uh, ledger paper I did some collage on this coffee dyed paper with a variety of different elements and again on the back, this is a uh, antique Sears and Roebuck uh, catalog paper, and then this beautiful um, trim here. This is printed vellum, beautiful papers. I printed on both sides, and this is on photo quality paper. This is uh, tracing paper. Another piece and uh, some antique uh, music paper. I've got a bag here for storage and I simply just put a couple of the tags uh, from that kit in there. And then on this side, a little postcard, antique style, and I print it on the back and that tucks in the pocket. This is uh, one of my uh, floral book pages look how pretty it is and this says sweet peas and it and it just tells all about it and it's got a poem here it's just so pretty uh more bag uh, for you to store items in and then a couple pieces of ephemera here i believe those are from the kit antique music tracing paper lots of room to write more of the fabric and a key Uh, that um, antique um, oh, Sears and Roebuck vintage uh, ledger or regular is this vintage this could be vintage ledger and then some of my pearls these are antique pearls um, then we have some more fabric trim here and some more lace trim this makes a beautiful creating space here with the with the trims. Second signature coming in. I have a uh, one of my wax seals. Another angled pocket here, and this I love this. It's I always drink Hughes. It's cocoa, isn't she? Look at that outfit. So that's tucked in there. I've got two more tags in this beautiful uh, piece that was part of the kit in this little word. I put cottage rose on there. And these words were in are in that kit as well. Whoops. Got some yellow, uh, whoops, a vintage, or I mean, uh, vellum, printed vellum. Some, uh, this is old yellow uh, lined paper. And then uh, another one of the catalog pages, more trim. Another one of those uh, book pages, so pretty. I love the florals. In this middle pocket here, uh, I did leave all the strings, so if you want to tie something to them uh, or cut them off, it's up to you. Uh, right in this, <clears throat> this is uh, two large tuck areas, so... Uh, there's a lot of room for you to tuck items in there. So I have just one of these folders in this one. And then um, 
you know, there's room for more. And then I just have a mini uh, Tim Holtz clip here. And um, this, whoops, this has popped off. Oop, I gotta glue that back on. My seal, uh, and then I have, vel I have, um, ooh, what is going on? I got a little glue on this. So I think I'm gonna have to fix this. Just a little glue. But this is a Velcro, a Velcro dot, and I will glue this back on because I feel like this, the, um, this looks really cute on there. Okay, and in this beautiful envelope, and this envelope came with the kit, and I did print it on, uh, this feels like cotton, cotton paper. And this also is printed, no, this one's printed on vellum, or not vellum, on um, linen. And it's a French document. So that's tucked in the big pocket. So I'll leave that out so I can glue that back on. Here's the back of that. Some of that book page, tissue, catalog, paper, printed vellum. Uh, I've got a pretty little pocket here. And this one it was one of the pieces from the kit and I simply folded it over to the other side. And so we have a tuck spot on this side and in here. I have tucked uh, this piece, this piece, and this piece. So quite a bit of ephemera in here. And then tucked in this pocket, two more pieces of vintage style ephemera. Let me just put these in here so I know that's where they came from. Uh, some lace. And then that brings us to the back cover. Again, that fabric pocket. And then two beautiful, just beautiful journaling cards here. St and Stamperia paper on the back. So pretty. Okay, guys, so this will be in my Etsy shop. I'm going to list it uh, for $50, but that includes priority shipping. And to ship this would probably be about 9 bucks. So... Uh, that's a pretty good deal. Okay, so this whole set. All right, guys, thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.